Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of this member of the podcast. I'm your host, Perry. I'm outside this week with Papa Ritter. Hello. This is a Sunday night we're recording, and um, we got the whole family over for... Whole, f- whole family minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Miss Lindsay. Yeah, it's not with um, us. And we're going to have steaks. Outdoor drinks. Oh, Outdoor steaks. Drinks. It's my second steak today. Yeah. But we usually have beef on Sunday nights. It's either hamburger or or uh, a steak, and tonight it's steak night. I like steak night. I do, too. <laughs> I do, too. Hey, if you're new to the show, it's your first time listening, thank you so much for being here. Please uh, go ahead and subscribe. How's that? You can finish it off if you want. I don't care. Not much that. Uh, I guess there was more left in there than I thought. Well, I can give you some. Uh, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, also, leave us a five-star rating and review. Share the show with your friends. You can find all of our apparel and merchandise. Bourbonshop.threadless.com. And you can become a patron of the show at patreon.com slash podcast for as little as a dollar a month. Just a dollar. Five bucks gets you some bonus content. It does. So, there you go. We're pouring, or we just poured, Flying Blind for this week, where I like to blind the guest co-host or co-host or whomever it might be at the time with something. Um, this is what I put in my flask to take to Curtis's wedding reception last night. I'm not saying anything. He had a swig of he had, it. He had a swig of it as well. Did he dig it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh. It smells better today than it did yesterday. Have I had it? Uh, kinda. <laughs> this is what I love to do with Flying Blind. Let's mess with people a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's good. It burned a little bit going down, but it... So it's a a very small blend. I'm talking like... <laughs> <laughs> what? You had a leaf on your arm. You threw I, it away. Checked, you had the worst I, look on your face. I like, checked it. I didn't know. I wanted to get rid of it. It was on my arm. It was annoying me. Um, so I guess if we're going part, part to part, uh, it's one part rare breed... Mm-hmm. And like six parts benchmark foolproof. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, I didn't want to put the whole thing with foolproof. Yeah. Or I didn't want to fill the whole thing with foolproof. And so I was like, I'll just cut it a little bit. And I mean, maybe an ounce of a rare breed. It's very good. Yeah. It was a surprising little blend that came up. What? Nothing. Okay. So, this week, I'm going to be doing something a little different. We're mainly drinking, drinking, apparently. <laughs> Beer. Have you been to a yard? <laughs> been to the Austin City Saloon. I'm also very tired. <laughs> it's been a long couple of weeks, man. It has. Uh <clears throat> Everybody keeps saying, oh, I'm, I'm so excited for the long weekend. And I'm like, I don't get a long weekend. You don't get a long weekend. I don't get a long weekend. No. The only long vacations we have are when we ask off or holidays. Oh, something big. So, ask ah, Skeeter. <laughs> but the one that's on the table at the moment, both of them are bourbon barrel aged, by right. the way. Uh, but the one that's on the table at the moment, I just got for the first time. At West Six. Should I open it? Last week. Absolutely. Yeah. You're not going to ask me what I've been drinking? I'm going to in a okay. second. I'm just kind of setting everything up. Okay, dude, sorry. But then I'm going to ask you, Dad, hmm. what have you been drinking recently? You can ask me when you're ready. Or... I just did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Perry. What, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> I am not trying to make this difficult for you. I'm trying to have a lot of fun because I don't want you stressed out. It's all cool and it's no, all it's fun. fine. It's fine. What have you been drinking? <clears throat> well, my... My daily pours have really consisted of Russell's or Mm -hmm. um, Four Roses um, Single Barrel or Elijah Craig for the most part. Um, When I'm not breaking bottles at the liquor barn like I did yesterday. Yeah, how about that? 
Well, they were very generous, and they didn't charge me for an extra bottle because it was in store. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't make a practice out of breaking bottles. I've done it before, and it's, you know, it's not great. But, knock on wood, dude. I've never broken one. Like, <laughs> I've never, I've, I've not broken a single bottle before. That was full, at yeah. the very least. I mean, I've broken a, an empty one before, but that was just because I threw it in the... Mm. In the bin, and I was like, "Goodbye, whatever." But, but yeah, on, on its own, I've never dropped a full bottle in my life. That's good. So, well, hoping that streak I've, continues. I have. I, br- I was bringing stuff in, and I broke a bottle. I dropped a bottle of Buffalo Trace in the in the garage. Oh, that's right. I forgot you did that. What a klutz. Um, You're fine. Downstairs, I've been like TV time. Depends. Yeah. You know, it's not nothing's really changed much since the the last time I recorded with you of what yeah. I have purchased. Um I did buy a bottle of Hotel Tango yesterday. Did you really? Yes I did. Have you opened it yet? I have not. I was gonna open it last night and I think I'm just might open it a little bit tonight and I What do you suggest? You shink you think I sh- shink. You you think I should open it and then come back to it or what no i think it's great right out of the out of the gate right out of the hopper yeah it's right. fantastic okay i might i might have it for the the meetup this weekend as well okay we'll see though um we also will be part of the meetup this week you will be you guys will will be around for parts of it at the very least yeah. but we'll be, we'll be around yeah so for anybody who doesn't know it was a very last minute thing with um that i didn't fully publicize through the podcast it was just kind of like oh this is happening if you have any interest uh let me know and so we threw it together really last minute and of course this coming weekend is memorial day weekend and we uh you know nobody really had plans everybody was kind of looking for something and so it fell pretty perfectly uh, for everybody in the group that we were talking with but we'll all be safe too yeah, absolutely. I think like ninety-five to ninety-nine percent of people who are going to be there are vaccinated. Yeah. Um, so nothing to worry about there. That was the reason that it kind of came up in my head anyway. Was because I wanted to, you know, do something since everybody was starting to get vaccinated. Right. I'm going to light the grill. You mean just kind of keep going just while you're doing going, that? Yeah. Yeah. That's just fine. Keep going and. If- if I can be heard off mic, I'll just yell out to you. Uh, don't, well, don't, yeah, I'll, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. So I made up some of that um, WB Hackle that Dave Jennings Did you? was, yeah. But, I mean, I made it for my stream, which, by the way, if you're not uh, subscribed to the YouTube page, it's youtube.com slash this is my bourbon podcast. And uh, we're on the road to 1,000, as I've been saying. But, anyway. Um, He's going to sign my book. Dave is going to sign your book, and I'm going to get that sent over to him soon. I want to send some some samples to him as well, but I'm very I'm very excited for you to get that get that signed. It's a finally. You've had it since last year. Was it last year's Father's, Father's Day? Day last year? Yeah. I've had a couple books signed. I had Dick Vitale signed a book for me. Oh, that's cool. And I remember Mom and I went to go to Joseph Beth, and um, Mom. Was not in a very good mood. <laughs> She's like, if Dick Vitale says something bad to me, I'm like, chew his head off. And I'm like, I think he's a gentleman. Yeah. He was, we, he's, he was the one of the worst. No, he was fantastic. <laughs> he was so cool. And it's funny thing about that, Hillary Clinton was there as well. Really? Yeah. That's she, bizarre. Yeah. Um, she was either coming in right after Dick was leaving. And, um, so we we did not we did not see her, but um, that just remembered that. I did not know that story. So. Have um, you tried that? The beer? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, this the Bourbon County Stout? Because we have the West Six poured. At no, the, the West Six is what I meant. Yes, because I had I had one last week. Cheers. That was the worst clink I've ever heard. Oh, clinks. It was a thud. So I want to shout. Can I shout out real fast? Yeah, go for it. Oh my gosh! Whoa! 
I had one sip of this, and I said that I had to go get four pack, six pack, I whatever I they had. Four pack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so good. A high school friend of mine came in town yesterday, mm-hmm. with, or came in Friday, and they were in town for Friday night and into yesterday. Um, Bobby Lowerty, who was a swim teammate of mine at the Baylor School, and his girlfriend Paula were in town, and um, I told them about the podcast. Oh, cool. <clears throat> and I said, you know, it's easy to remember the name. And they both said, it is easy to remember. <laughs> So I hope they listen. I hope they're listening today. I'll probably text them and tell them that, you know. Yeah, please do. It's I wanted to shout out. We had a good time. Tell yesterday. your friends about the show, not just you, everybody. I tell my friends. Tell your friends about the show. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um. So what, what have you been drinking? What else have I been drinking? Oh. Okay. I am really excited for you to try this. Okay. I got this in the mail. Yesterday, yeah, from Heaven Hill, and <clears throat> we've been kind of circling around it. I think since last year, it was either towards the end of last year or the beginning of this year. But it was the new version of dun, 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 dun. Evan Williams, seventeen eighty three. There you go, up to ninety proof. Oh, I think wow. it's a little bit older now. Um, about the same price as well. I bought a bottle but, of that yesterday, but not the seven, not that one. You bought this one? I bought that one. Yeah, I brought them both so we could compare them. But are you just what? like, are they? Is it great? We'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> we don't have to do a review or anything. I mean, I don't think we have to. We have time. We don't have time. No. That's a thing. So maybe I'll actually review it on uh, the live stream this week. Um, I'll tell you. This is really good. It is fantastic. I mean, you can only really have one of these. And we're split. It. So, it's 10.5. Well, it's not just that. It's so sweet. Mm-hmm. It's very sweet. And I don't normally like sweet beers in general, mm-hmm. but it's, it's the, the bourbon sweetness more than anything. Mm-hmm. It smells it's, like your porch is burning down well, with the gas on. I know it's not. It's old, man. Yeah, I need a new girl soon. I do. I need one. That and the computer. Yeah, right? <clears throat> Your computer that sounds like it's taken off into outer space every time you boot it up. My old tower is faster than the my laptop. I don't know how that's possible. It still runs good. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm like Windows 6. There's 7. <laughs> <laughs> It still runs good. I it mean, run, it's, yeah, it, it's, runs just fine. It's faster than. Um, I'm trying to think of something to discuss. Doesn't matter. I Wait, feel I'll like we're you. on a like a radio station remote. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for like <laughs> this week's Venus caller. flytrap to come in. <laughs> yeah, but so I'll I'll tell you about the the packaging, and I'll show it off in this week's live stream mm-hmm. as well. But the like media. Set, set, excuse me, that we were sent from Heaven Hill. And normally, it, it, we get sent like a shoebox right. size, and it's full of like, um, like trim paper, and you know, it's got a letter in it telling you about the release and the bottle or samples or whatever. And this time, the cardboard box that it came in was double the size of what we normally get. Really? I was like, <clears throat> What the heck is this? Yeah. Because, you know, I was only supposed to get one bottle of the 1783. Right. And I thought, uh, you know, potentially maybe they sent one for me and whomever else. But I I opened it, and it was this, like, <coughs> excuse me, 14 or 15 by 15 box. Mm-hmm. I mean, huge square. And I was, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what might be in it. I open it up. It's got... The bottle, two rocks glasses. Nice. Um, a stencil with the logo on it. Wow. Like a metal stencil. Yeah. Um, a face mask, which means that they probably came up with this like a few months ago. Mm-hmm. A recipe card, and then uh, a thing of hand sanitizer from Heaven Hill. So it was a really good, That's a good care package or media package. That's a good media package. Yeah. And. and Way above and beyond what they've ever done. Are they open? 
They're open, aren't they? Heaven Hill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, most distilleries are open. Yeah, I, I, but, like, Jim Beam isn't. Okay. Beam hasn't been open for months. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know when they're going to Is gonna... Turkey open? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know how how limited they are on space right now, mm -hmm. but I, I do know that they're open more, and they're probably starting to lift some of those. Right restrictions as well but i would i'm i miss wild turkey <laughs> i miss bt i, I miss too. i miss going to all these places that i would normally go to on tours and yeah you know it, it didn't even have to be going and doing a tour just you know bringing a group of people there and right. then sitting in the lobby and seeing everybody come through was one of my favorite things sure but, you know i've had two tours since last march so it'll pick up oh it definitely will it definitely will <clears throat> but yesterday at yesterday at uh liquor barn uh -huh. was one of those days that you know a couple from out of town <clears throat> were going down the bourbon aisle oh yeah wondering where the pappy was <laughs> wondering where <laughs> the blantons is and you know the 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 poor clerk was like this is really good. This is, you know, you yeah. should try this. And it's like, but this is not what we wanted. Yeah, well, what you want is not available. At all. So. Oh, well. Oh, well. Do you, uh, what? Do you like bourbon barrel-aged beers? I Just do. kind of in general? I do. I like um, the Kentucky Ale. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I haven't really had that. Well, I've had the Goose Island. Yeah. The three that I've had... Are the one that we're drinking right now, the Goose Island. The, the, this is the West Six. It's in you know Lexington. Yeah. And um, Kentucky Ale. Kentucky Ale. So do you? I love bourbon yeah. barrel ales. Well, well, bourbon barrel aged beers in general. Um, whether it's a stout or an ale, or whatever. What's the? But, um, uh, it's not quite twelve o'clock yet. Okay. <laughs> it's asking me the temperature on the on the grill. But he's my co-pilot. <laughs> this um, this one in particular is not their standard stout. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is a wheat wine ale that they age in larceny barrels. Have you had it? I've not had this one yet. Okay. Um, I've had this one since 2019. I might have a bottle of that downstairs as well. Really? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm perfectly happy to open it. Because, A, I'm curious, and B, why the heck not? It's been sitting around for long enough. Well, let's crack it open. But you're going to chug here. <laughs> I'm going to sip it for a second. <clears throat> it's a pretty night out here tonight. Yeah, it's really it's nice. Hot, it's here. a little warm. Um, Maybe the the wheat wine ale will cool us down a but bit. But, you know, it's, it's not windy, so you, it's not showing up on the mic or anything. Oh, no. I mean, it's just ambiance. Out here, yeah. Squirrels, and I'm sitting in a I'm cardinals. sitting in a place that I've in thir in almost thirty years of living in this house I've never sat here. I I'll come <clears> out <throat> here and sit with you while you're grilling. I know, every but now and the then, position that I'm 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 really? looking I'm looking at our house and yeah. I and I'm not I've never sat here. Before. I've definitely sat there before. This is fascinating stuff for everybody. Well, nobody <laughs> gives a shit. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> here, let's um. You have an opener? Yeah. Okay. But in Where'd the, you get it from? My grandfather. I got bad news about this knife, though. Does it need to be sharpened? Yes, but that's not it. The uh, the scissors, the spring in between broke. Mm. So they're virtually useless. I mean, they, they work fine, but you have to manually... Or do a straight line. Open up. Well, even then, I mean, it's not uh, super reliable. Mm. How can we still hear the dogs when we're outside? <clears throat> well, hopefully the dogs in the neighborhood don't start because they are a pain in the butt. <laughs> do you want to? Um, do you want to try the old 1783 sure. before we pour the the new, the new one? Yeah. Because I am curious what you think about it. I was it that I got a bottle of 1783 for you for Father's for Day something? again last year. Was that last year? Mm -hmm. Golly, man. Um. Also, mine's got a little dust on it. Sorry. But I, you know, it's always been kind of one of those way under the radar 
bottles. It's a good price. It <clears throat> is low um, proof. It smells really good. And it's good. also very good. Yeah. And you know, don't ever let the name fool you. You're getting close to about one o'clock, by the way. Okay. <clears throat> well, I don't. I, I think Evan Williams still has quite a bit of clout around it. Um, it depends on the product itself. Right. E- regular Evan Williams Black Label. I don't think people are. You know, I have an airplane crazy. bottle downstairs. Do you? Yeah. I've actually got a. Your bottled and bond is amazing, though. Oh, I do love it. But I, I've got one of the, like, plastic traveler bottles mm-hmm. of regular Evan Williams. And, I mean, I've had it for a couple of years now. Right. And I got it just for a stream or an episode or something. And it's just kind of sat there. But every now and then I'm like. Take a hit off of it. May as well. I finally got around. Sorry. And part of it was because, you know. The Holly and Emma were coming over to take care of Eden. Right. <clears throat> on Saturday night. But I finally got around to organizing <laughs> my cabinet again for the first time since Eden was born. <laughs> You've been busy. Yeah. I. Did you find stuff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how many Elijah Craig picks I have. Oh. Yeah. I've, I've got over a dozen of them. Are they 94 proof? Or are they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you know that they're doing Elijah Craig barrel proof picks now? Oh, no. I'm so excited. <laughs> no. I'm so excited. Dane's throwing your baby up in the air. <laughs> I was throwing my baby up in the air earlier today, oh. too. It was great. She was super happy about it. We had it. the first Ritter outing at lunch today, and it was just a blast. Oh, it was fantastic. We, yeah, we haven't, well, you haven't been out with Eden. No anywhere yet no but we, we were, we've taken her out before. we were saying how good she did she did great nobody cares about this either eh. let's talk <laughs> it's a baby you better yeah. care it's my grandkid <laughs> this is good old 1783 mm-hmm. doesn't have a whole lot of bite to it Mm-mm. it's that's okay super easy to drink and is just really approachable i think it's one of the well, I don't know if this point's valid anymore because there is a new version of it, but it's one of the better values in bourbon. Would you consider somebody that is kind of starting off, you could throw this out to them yeah. and say, <laughs> um, this or H and age 90? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I prob- See, I lean a little bit more towards Heaven Hill's I know you do. Basic profile. I would probably go 1783, but at the same time, I think I think they serve different purposes. Because Ancient Age 90 is the same as the Blanton's Mash Bill. It's high rye. Right. So it's for getting people more accustomed to spice. This is just more of a flavor journey, I guess, or exploration, than... Um, than Ancient Age 90 is supposed to be. So I think that they both have their merits, but I don't think that they necessarily need to be one or the other. Right. So. Totally different. But something that you can throw at somebody that's <clears throat> that's not been drinking higher proof stuff. That's, yeah. That's what, I'm, well, that's, I, that's what I'm leaning towards. I think that you can surprise people who... Might have been drinking for a while mm-hmm. with this one, especially both of them. Yeah, absolutely, and and I just think that it's 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 a dark horse, mm-hmm. <laughs> honestly, because it's got a black label. No, George right. Harrison. That was his I'm, record label. I'm missing the connection. Dark What's horse. that have to do with Evan Williams? It doesn't. He just said dark horse, and then had to deal with <laughs> dark horse is also a comic book. Um, publisher. Okay. I'm just confused what the the link between the two was. How, how we're at we... two o'clock right now. All right. <laughs> we're about ready to cool it down. You do that, and I'll crack open the Goose Island wheat wine. Uh oh. That is so much lighter than I thought it, it was going to be. Lighter. <laughs> Might save a little bit for for Dane Dane. Dane Dane too. Yeah. 
Wow. Look at the color. Of that. I mean, I know, it, again, it's an ale. It's not a stout. But I just was not expecting it to look more like yingling. <laughs> What's the alcohol? Truth be told, I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh, 15.3. Holy moly. He won't drink it. He will if we surprise him with it. <laughs> oh, just don't look at the bottle. Drink it. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> oh, wow. It smells like cake. Yeah, I like cake. <laughs> it's got floaties in it, though. Ah, uh, I'm not too worried. I'm drinking it. I'm drinking, you're drinking, we're all drinking. I'm thirsty. You know, it's very good. I was expecting... It's so different from what we just had. It's totally had. different from what we just wow. had. Wow. Because it's an ale. Uh, yeah. It, I would almost drink that on the beach. <laughs> like well, you might. During the summer. Mom had, um, you know, yesterday at um, Bear and the Baron Butcher. Butcher. Yeah. yeah. By the way, if you're in Lexington, go, go check out Bear and Butcher. Yeah. You want to know what a okay. friend of ours owns is, owns the place. His name is Tom Bear. This is good, Pear. Speaking of Yingling, though, I think it would be really cool if Yingling did a bourbon barrel aged beer. It would be. Yeah, and again, we've talked about this before. You should take that mini barrel that you have and put beer in it. Put beer in it. We had talked about Ying, or, uh, High Life at one point, but I think you should do Yingling now. Okay. Well, you don't want to? <laughs> no. I... You don't like me? <coughs> How long is it going to take for to to pour like beer and let let the let the foam die down? You see what I mean? Oh. Um. It's going to take. It's a. It's going to be a process. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to take as long as you think it will. And put it in the fridge. You talking about like dumping it out of the bottles into No, I think you could probably pour it right into the barrel. That's what I mean. But you're talking about like putting the beer in the like the barrel in the fridge? Yeah. No, I don't think you need to do that. All right, let me ask a question. Okay. There's a little bit left in the barrel right now. There's a little bit of there's a Turkey 101 in the barrel right now. Oh, I forgot about that. What I might finish that tonight. What I know it? what you're about to say. I might finish that tonight. <laughs> finish it. But I don't think I, I don't think that mixing the two of them together is a great idea. You've had a Boilermaker before, right? You're damn right I have. That they're the worst thing in the world. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. <laughs> and I want to rock. I get my belly full of beer. <laughs> Elton John, cheers. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't want to do that. Right. So I just would, finish the barrel and then go ahead and pour something in there. Yeah, I think you should. Take a couple of bottles of Yingling, three or four, whatever it takes. It's going to take a lot more whole, than that. Whole case. It's going to eight, take eight, nine, a keg. Who's to say? <laughs> the entire brewery. Ying, get Yingling on the phone right now. <laughs> hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Google. Google. <laughs> Call Yingling. Call Yingling. I think we should try some of the new <clears throat> 1783 now I think we should. as well. Um, I can't wait for you to try this. Okay, that makes me feel better because I was worried that you didn't. I, I, you no, didn't no, like no, 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 no. It's not that. It's not that I am trying to, you know, mess with you or anything. Mm -hmm. But it is different enough. I will say, okay. uh, four proof points higher. Okay. Again, I think it's a so it's little 90. bit. It's ninety. Yeah, now, it's ninety. Yeah. I think it is a little bit older than it was before. So this has been sitting, not to sound like a dope, it's sitting in the barrel a little bit longer. Yeah. Here's, here's my thinking about this. What, what are you, what? I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the two bottles. I'm just trying to compare what they're promoting. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to finish the thought? No. Okay, great. No, I, I. Well, here, here, let, me, let me just go ahead and say, here's what I think this is going to be. I think this 
and I don't want to believe it because I have tried so hard to deny that it's going to happen. I think this is going to replace Heaven Hill Six Year 90 Proof, the green label. I think that they are reserving the stock for the replacement. For the replacement. And we've kind of seen over the past few months that people can't get it as frequently as they were able to. I asked Bernie at Heaven Hill about it, and he said it's not going away. The handle's going away. You told me that. Yeah. But I think this might this is be, be what the, the new version of it is. How? Which I'm really... I'm still a little disappointed. Yeah. In. <laughs> How close are they to like putting out their new Bottled and Bond? I mean, it's out. It's just not in Kentucky. Oh my it's a lot God. sweeter. I think it's sweeter and, and got a lot more depth to it. it as well. All of the above. It's really well layered, it's, especially on the nose, I think. Like, I'm smelling... I smell peppermint. I smell I can, taste peppermint. And I taste peppermint as well. You know, Perry, I'm going to go back to something, too. Um, I, hope you're, I hope the listeners don't just roll their eyes at me because of my past of what I used to drink. But I have gone... And, I, and I've said this in... in like the past episode, I've gone back to Maker's Mark. Somebody's putting their garbage. <laughs> and happy Sunday. No, I, I. But I have too. It's good. I quite like it. And I was never trying to get you to stop drinking Maker's. I just wanted you to try something else. And I wanted to, and I did. And, yeah. And and I'm glad I have. Yeah. Because I remember. Because you drank two different bourbons. Two. For the longest time. Woodford and Maker's Mark. And I and and by the time that I had started the podcast and was getting into bourbon, I was like, but you gotta try this. And you had never had Weller at that point. And you'd never had Larceny. And the reason I mentioned those two is because they're both weeded bourbons. Right. And they were kind of being marketed as I, no, you go for it. But but they had been marketed as, like, the alternative to makers. You know? Yeah. They're <clears throat> cheaper. But one of them's higher proof. <laughs> Another one of them is actually higher proof, too. And, yeah. you know, you pay initially, like, a dollar more than you would for makers. Right. And you get 107 proof. And you get a whole much but, better product. But it's makers is still a proven good product. I agree. Um, and, and what I interrupted you? No, no, no. It's fine. What I was going to say was what they're doing at that distillery right now, putting out like the 101 that's not going to be around for much longer. That's not true. Okay. That's not true at all. Okay. That's, I hope it stays around. It's staying around. Good. So it, it started as a, it, it started as a, like a duty free shop only the 101 release yeah yeah well i guess before that it started as anytime anybody came to the distillery that the samuels were trying to wine and dine right they give them an older product at a higher proof to show them what makers could really be right and then they were like why let's put it let's put it out there for some people and it was at duty free shops mm. and then <laughs> They wanted to give everybody else the chance to try it. They're smart. One, 101 is better than 90. Tons. Cast strength is better than the both of them. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a ranking for 46 and 46 cast yet. I haven't though. opened my 46 cast yet. Really? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, we'll do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't I haven't tried the cast drink yet for, I, for for some reason I don't know but I have a lot of private select downstairs that I have not that I have not returned to in a while yeah and one reason is it's it it's higher it's higher proof than I really want to go to at times sure and so you know so that's that yeah but I mean there's still 
it, it's kind of one of the reasons that I like rare breeds so much because it's higher proof but not so high proof that you kind of feel bad. Yeah. But I I can understand that. Thankfully though, I mean they stick around about 110, 112 proof. But there are a lot of really good makers private selects out there. There are at the moment. And it seems like it seems like you know the the liquor stores around here have their own one or two or three or four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like we get we gave Dane for his birthday. Mm-hmm. Sweet Dane or Sweet D or whatever it was called. Sweet D. Sweet D. Yeah. yeah. No, I have I, to ask him I what he about thought that. about that. Did he drink any of the? I don't know. We'll have to ask him. Well, I mean of this, uh, of the the wheat wine. He took a couple sips. He doesn't want any more of it. So. Oh, daggone it, Dane. Well, Dad's um, oiling up the grill and getting dinner ready for us, so might be time for us to start thinking about moving into tips and bits for this week. Uh, while you're doing that, I guess I'll go ahead and do my tips and bits. Take your time. Take your time. You don't have to. You don't have to rush at all. Uh, let's see. So I've, I've been on the the journey recently. I don't know if I've told you this. To play through all of the Legend of Zelda games. <laughs> and I just the other day... I'm sorry? From the beginning? Yeah. The hardest games ever? Yeah. Go ahead. Like, I, I mean, I, I beat Zelda 1. Really? Yeah, it was incredibly tough. But <laughs> I, I just finished Link's Awakening the other day. And... On Switch? On Switch. I haven't finished it yet. It's beautiful. I have not finished it yet. It, and I, I love the original release. But the the Switch version is so pretty. Because I want to go back and play it again. And that that final boss battle, though, it's tough as heck. Isn't it's it? so tough. Yeah. But it's awesome. Okay. I mean, it looks great. Cool. So, it, I I kind of like started a couple of games, and then I was like, I'm gonna go back and start from the right. beginning. Um. So I beat Ocarina of Time again. Wow. And I got like halfway through Majora's Mask, and that's when I decided to go back to the beginning. So I'm still working on Majora's Mask at the moment, but you just <clears throat> you just can't. It, Link's Awakening is my favorite game. I played of all it. time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just not a big gamer. Well, no, 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 no. It's that, one. It's totally fine. It's one of the first. It's <clears throat> one of the first games on Game Boy that I ever played. I didn't know how involved it was. And it's a lot. <laughs> like I could probably play the ga the the original Game Boy version. I could probably play it in a day, and and if I took the time and did it, and and I could and I could ace through it. The Switch version has got some things that I haven't, you know, gotten into much. But but the the thing about the Switch version is that if you don't want to do all of those extra things, you don't have to. You don't have to. You can basically finish the game the exact same way that you would have right. on on the Game Boy. But, but I'm a completist. Well, that's fair. That's fair. And let me tell you, there's some tough stuff in there's some tough in stuff the in Switch there. version. Yeah. So, I and, and like I had a few times where I was like scratching my head and getting frustrated, but um, I had to cheat at Dane stuff. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It, so okay, you do have the the 3ds. Mm -hmm. I think that you should play Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Okay, I have them both. Majora's Mask is hands down my favorite game of all time. I've, you've, I've heard you say that. Yeah. And Ocarina of Time is just one of the best games ever. Right. So, which first? Oh, you you have to play Ocarina first because, because sequ of... it comes sequentially before. Okay. And the Zelda timeline is ridiculous. But Majora's Mask is, I think, one of the only direct sequels to a previous Another, game. Right. So, yeah, Majora's Mask is actually a sequel to Ocarina of Time. Okay. I got to check on the flames.
Okay. Man, these are such good looking steaks. Yeah, they look great. Yeah, they do. Not too big, not too small. Any music? Um. <laughs> actually, yes. What? It's nothing that I've listened to recently, though, but I just ordered. Yeah. Um, so it's, I guess, you know, a future tips and bits. Kentucky for Kentucky did a whole Parks and Rec themed I heard you all release. talking about that. Yeah. So the in-show band that, um, Chris, what's his name? Pratt. Chris Pratt. Thank you. That, that he leads. It's called Mouse Rat. Mm -hmm. And they put out some of the music that they played on the show online yeah. years ago. And they put it out on vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> you ordered it? Yes. It's it's like a. I'll steal your download card. It's like you. a. Blue, I don't know if it has one, it but it, but it's one. got like a like a blue disc, like a blue Sweet. vinyl. It's so cool looking. I'm so excited I for it. I want to hear it. And and it's it's been a while where I've made an an impulsive purchase like that, but as soon as Lucy sent it to me, I was like, yeah, we're. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. We're getting we're getting that. It's okay. We're getting that. What do you, what do you have for tips and bits, Papa Ritter? OG Papa Ritter, as you've been. Who calls me that, Chris? Chris, Emily, Lil. I love it. Thank you. I think the Starkeys do, too. Yeah. The Brennickies definitely do. I can't wait to see those guys this weekend. Man, th there's a great crowd of people who are coming in this weekend. I can't wait. We can't wait to see everybody. Um, what have I... Well, um, <laughs> I started Twin Peaks again. Yeah. And we started Psych again. Did you? So yeah, I started season three of Twin Peaks. It's it's time of the year that you do that. Um, and I listened to while we were getting ready for for lunch today. I listened to this is um, a Twin Peaks podcast, a podcast about Twin Peaks. Oh, nice! And um, it's a really good they podcast. showed me a couple things that I that I keep missing. I mean, I've every time I watch those shows, I, I no the bottle the what? Can you hand me the bottle? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's your point at a freaking squirrel. Look, a squirrel, Dad. Um, Over yonder, a monkey. Music. All right, music. I kind of, um, I'm kind of in a Neil Young phase. In that, you know at what? Home, that, at home, that doesn't surprise me for some reason. Um, I'm kind of in my car. It's Dave Matthews, but but His real fans know him as Dave. It's fine. <laughs> um. But at home, it's been Neil, and um, I I purchased the Deja Vu Crosby Hills Nash and Young box set. Mm. Have you gotten the new um, Petty box set yet? I got it for Christmas. The Wildflowers. Oh, is it that old? Yeah, they've only like just started promoting it on Sirius. I feel yeah, like. I got it for Christmas. Sorry, Dad. You, you all gave it to me. Yeah, we did. It's okay. I'm, um, I'm, really, um, I'm really sorry. It's okay. Um, <laughs> it's I, I do want to promote on Sirius. I do want to promote the channel Volume. We've um, talked about them before. We've talked about Volume before. There's a there's a, a Facebook group called Volume Maniacs. That's a lot of fun. Um, and then the last one I have is I I, I haven't seen this show yet, but. Oh yeah, you there's were a show about this. on Apple Plus. It's a series, not a documentary. It's a doc series mm -hmm. called 1971: The Year Music Changed Everything, or something to that effect. Like the the year music changed forever. Yeah, something. something. Like I'm not yeah. really sure, but um, I, I'm so excited to watch it. I really want to see that. I'll um, probably I mean, watch it this week, honestly. Um, and I can't wait for you to tell me what you think about it because. What they have been saying on volume about that show, especially in Debatable, was it's a deep dive and it takes a lot and there's crossovers. That's awesome. Like like you'll see the Who somewhere mm. doing something. Like Who's Next came out that year and then six or seven episodes later, that appears again. So that's, I'm just that's looking my forward tips. to checking it out. That's yeah. my tips and bits and... Um, and that's pretty much this episode. 
Okay. Yeah. That about does it. You know where you want to find me? Where where can they do you that? You can you can <laughs> you can find me on Facebook. You <laughs> Have you listened to the show before? <laughs> My <clears throat> my Twitter handle is at Ritter. Oh, excuse me, at JD Ritter two. I'm Instagram at Ritter five. And um, reach out to me. I am at P Ritter fourteen ninety two on all social media channels. If you want to find the show itself, it's at my Bourbon Pod on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can leave us a five star rating and review. We will read it out here on the show if you would like for us to. If not, just let us know in uh, whatever podcatcher app that you listen to. But otherwise, it really does help the show. It's one of the best ways to help the show so that other people can get to uh, get to finding it, I guess. You can find all of our apparel and merchandise at bourbonshop.threadless.com. You can send your questions or comments to thisismybourbonshop at gmail.com. Um, oh, our glassware as well. You can find those at whiskeyambitions.com. Ah, uh, Skateboard? Skateboards at bourbonshop.threadless.com. Thanks, Chad. Uh, this is your last week, actually, to find all of our glasses. Ooh. Uh, after this coming weekend, they are sold out. Done. So, a little, little tip for you guys if you've not yet bought one of our This Is My Bourbon Drinking Glass, Glen Cairns, which we're both actually drinking out of right yeah, now. Are, actually, Thanks, yeah. Chad and Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. What up? Anyway. <laughs> I go live every Thursday evening on YouTube at youtube.com slash this is my bourbon podcast at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I stop in for a few minutes. You do. Pretty much every week. And we all give you a little shout out. I just makes my ego grow. <laughs> That's not good. Um, <laughs> uh, what else do we do? I'm on TikTok. At my bourbon pod. Are you on TikTok? Yeah, I'm, at, I'm not uh, on TikTok. Yet. I'm at my bourbon pod. You don't have to worry about it. I don't it's fine. To, I'm too um, but I think that about does it. Patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast for as little as a dollar a month. Five dollars a month gets you bonus content like the pregame chats and the newly reimagined Last Call, which mm-hmm. will be coming out very soon as well. That does it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you next week. But until then, I'm Perry, and this is my bourbon podcast. <laughs>